it all started because of a land dispute over Sheikh Jarrah. Sheikh Jarrah is a place in East Jerusalem, 2 km north of the Old City. In between the 12th to 13th century, first Egyptian Sultan Saladin Physician Hassan al-Din al-Jarrahi, also known as Sheikh Jarrah, lived here. He built an Islamic religious school. After his death, he buried on the grounds of the school and a tomb was built. Then this place named Sheikh Jarrah and it became a destination for Muslim worshippers. In 1865, major Muslim families started migrating to Sheikh Jarrah from the old city in the East Jerusalem. At the end of 19th century, under the Ottoman Empire, there are 167 Muslim families, 97 Jewish families and 6 Christian families living at Sheikh Jarrah. In the 1948 Arab-Israel war, the families which are living at Sheikh Jarrah fled away. In this war, Sheikh Jarrah including East Jerusalem was occupied by Jordan and the West Jerusalem was occupied by Israel. But the area between Jordan held East Jerusalem and Israel held West Jerusalem voted as no man's land. Sheikh Jarrah was part of this no man's land. After this war, the houses belonged to Jewish people in East Jerusalem were occupied by Palestinians and the houses belonged to Palestinian people in West Jerusalem were occupied by Jewish people. In 1956, with the support of the United Nations Organization for Refugees, the Jordan government moved 28 Palestinian families to Sheikh Jarrah. These Palestinian families had previously lived in Haifa and Jaffa, but they had been displaced in 1948. The place where 28 families moved was belonged to a Jewish trust. The land was bought by a Jewish trust in the year 1850 from Arab landowners at the time of Ottoman ruling. In the 1967 Arab Israel Six Day War, Israel occupied East Jerusalem, including Sheikh Jarrah. In 1972, two Jewish trusts approached Israel court to claim their ownership over land now under 28 families. The court has approved the ownership of Jewish trusts but opposed the eviction of Palestinian people, considering the United Nations Organization for Refugees Falls. So, trust demanded rent from Palestinian families. In 1982, an agreement was made. According to this agreement, Palestinian families considered as protected tenants and they will pay rent to Jewish who own the land as long as they are living on this land. Both parties have accepted this agreement. But the actual conflict started here. Years passed by, the Palestinian families refused to pay the rents. They stated that the property documents which are showed by Jewish are fake. They tricked us to pay rent to them. In 1990, first time court given eviction orders because they refused to pay rent and by starting illegal constructions in that area. After these eviction orders, Palestinian families appealed to Israel court several times for ownership, but the court rejected these appeals. In 2003, Jewish Trust sold this property to right-wing settlers organization. This right-wing settler organization started forceful evacuations in the region. They successfully evacuated 42 Palestinians, and the Jewish people also started occupying the lands. And the right-wing party made a plan to construct 200 houses, but Israeli government didn't approve of this plan. Now the recent hearings by the Israel Supreme Court in May 2021 engaged the fear in Palestinian families. Israel settlers started rallies in Sheikh Jarrah. On 6 May, Palestinians started a protest against the eviction of six houses. Israel settlers and Palestinians in East Jerusalem started hurling rocks at each other. All of these protests and riots have been viral on social media. Because of these protests and riots between both parties, tensions have prevailed in the Sheikh Jarrah. On 7 May, Israel police went to the Temple Mount. There were nearly 70,000 Palestinians doing prayers. At the end of these prayers, some Palestinians started throwing stones at police. Then police threw stone grenades into the Temple Mount. On 10 May, Again, Israel police roamed into Al Aska Mosque to control the Palestinians do not attack Israeli people when doing parades on the eve of Jerusalem Day. At the time, Palestinians stored stones in mosque to attack the parade. In this clash, 300 Palestinians and 20 Israeli police were injured. On afternoon, 10 May, Hamas were warned the Israeli government to withdraw police force from Temple Mount and Sheikh Jarrah before 6 pm. After this warning, Hamas fired 150 rockets on Israel. Then the war started. Five days, Israel defended the Hamas airstrike with the Iron Dome. But on 16 May, Israel started a counterattack. After 11 days of fighting, the attacks ended on 21 May. In these attacks, 254 Palestinians and 13 Palestinians were killed. From Gaza, Hamas fired 4,360 rockets on Israel. In them, 680 rockets were fell within Gaza ship. Israel fired nearly 1,500 air, land and sea strikes on Gaza. 
many thanks for listening for more videos please do subscribe and hit the bell icon